a very basic idea now about units and uh, dimensions. Now, <clears throat> what do we mean by units? And, and then later on we'll also talk about dimensions in the later videos. Uh, but to start with units. Now what is a unit? Now essentially a unit is a reference or uh, a yardstick which we use for making a measurement. You know for, for instance if uh, I were to measure the length of the room in which I am standing or perhaps even the length of this uh, board uh, then I can choose this marker pen as the yardstick and measure uh, the number of times I have to uh, repeat the marker pen to, to get to the length of the board. So assuming that I have to repeat the marker pen's length seven times to complete the length of the board then I would say that the board has a length which is seven times the length of this marker pen which would uh, be a fair uh, measurement but we have a bit of a problem here the length of marker pens is not the same everywhere and if I make measurements of lengths using the marker pen then in different parts of the world people will end up reporting different lengths for uh, perhaps the same object and therefore uh, this is not a very good unit for making measurements and therefore we arrive at uh, globally agreed units uh, units uh, to which we agree universally everywhere in the world and also we define or describe units which uh, can be reproduced perfectly everywhere uh, in the globe. So we need to have units which are universally agreed and universally reproducible. Such a set of units these days uh, being used is the SI system of units, System International. Uh, that's decided upon by the International Union of uh, Physicists. Now <clears throat> we'll be talking about the specific units uh, a little later uh, but when we make a measurement like we did for the board here, uh, the measurement always involves expressing the length or any uh, quantity as a number times a unit. For instance, this length was seven times the marker pen, where marker pen was the unit. So whenever we express some measured quantity, it is always expressed as a number, as in this case it was seven and a unit. In this case, it was the marker pen. Now, of course, as I said, marker pen is not such a great unit. If we are to measure lengths, we have a unit called meter, which is globally agreed upon. And we will measure the length of the board in terms of meter rather than marker pen. Of course, another interesting thing that happens is when you change the unit, the number that you're using to represent, say, a length changes. For example, if you change the unit from kilometer to meter, then one kilometer becomes a thousand meter. Now, when we express lengths in this manner and say that one kilometer now becomes equal to thousand meter, the number has changed from one to thousand. The unit, because the unit has changed. But does the length of the one kilometer change because the number changes from one to thousand? No, it doesn't. So when you change units, uh, the number n that we use to represent it changes but uh, the measured physical quantity does not change in magnitude. So remember we will always express uh, the magnitude of a physical quantity as a number times a given unit and this number will change when you change the unit but 
the, the magnitude of the physical quantity does not change on the change of a unit. Now these are some basic principles on which we base any measurement process. Uh, now a little bit on these units. Globally we have three kinds of units. Uh, first set is the fundamental set of units and these are units which are not generally expressed in terms of other units. For instance the unit of length meter is generally not expressed in terms of other units. The unit of time second is not expressed in terms of other units. So these are fundamental units, units which are not expressed in terms of others. And then we have derived units. These are units which are uh, expressed in terms of fundamental units. Uh, for instance, the unit of uh, area uh, is, you know, the unit for length into length. So length times length is meter times meter, and so it's meter square. So the unit of area is a derived unit, and it, it is expressed as meter square. Now all the units which are expressed in terms of these fundamental units are generally derived units. And a couple of other units have been kept in a supplementary category. Now these are units for uh, radian, the plane angle, and steridian, which is the unit for solid angle, and more on steridian perhaps in a later video. <clears throat> so these are two supplementary units which do not belong to either one of these categories. Uh, a bit more on the fundamental set of units, the uh, SI system of units uh, defines seven uh, different uh, basic units. Uh, the first one is the unit for length, which is meter, L unit for mass is kilogram, unit for time is second, unit for temperature is Kelvin, unit for intensity or brightness of light, that's candela unit for electric current is ampere and the unit for amount of substance is mole uh, which is something uh, you study a fair bit uh, about in chemistry uh, and we will of course not be going into uh, the detailed definitions of these units uh, you can easily find them on uh, Wikipedia but but really doesn't really help uh, to read about these units, uh, not a great deal anyway. So <clears throat> if you know the names and you have a very vague rough idea that this is about one meter, uh, that should pretty much do uh, for the initial study in physics. And later on, even when you require more precise uh, measurements, you can actually go into detailed uh, definitions of these units. Thank you very much.